you are looking at this presentation shows that you have willingness and eagerness to learn C. But before going ahead, many things, many questions comes or arises in our mind that first of all, tell me, why shall I learn C? So let me make an effort to convince you that why, what shall you and me learn C? The first and most important reason is C is a simple language, reliable and easy to use. If you see, they say change is the only constant word in computer language. Every year there are many languages comes in, many version comes in and goes out. In such a volatile market, C is there from last three decades. Yes. From more than 30 years, C is a reliable language. C language is similar to English language in most of its senses. It's simple and easy to use. You may say that when there are languages like Java, Microsoft.NET and others which are object-oriented language, why should I still learn C? Because C is the language which can teach you basic programming skills effectively. If you directly go ahead and jump in into object oriented programming, a newcomer will be puzzled and you will end up nowhere. And if you go ahead and learn C first, so you will get good grasp on basic programming skills, all elements of programming. That's the second reason why shall we learn C. Then at this age also, at this age of IT, when there are many languages, nothing is comparable to C when it comes to performance or speed of execution. And in subsequent points, I'll be able to tell you and convince you that which all places speed of execution or performance is a key. Now if you see, in current market, there are operating systems like Windows, Linux, Unix. The major part of all these languages are written in C. So, if you want these languages to be extended, to be enhanced, to write device driver program for many devices to work. For example, you have come up with the USB. Right? That USB should work with your operating system. Obvious choice is C. You can write the device driver program in C which can connect to this USB. You have got an external CD drive. You have got a phone to be connected with your operating system. You want your Bluetooth to work with your operating system. C is the obvious choice. If you see this world is now full of machines like ATMs which we use I would say weekly at least once to draw money. Then there are many consumer devices like microwave, washing machine, digital cameras, n number of versions, n number of things comes in. Now mobile phone is a buzzword in the market, palm tops. Right. All these devices, whether it's an ATM consumer devices or cellular devices, it has got a microprocessor, an operating system and some embedded program in it. And that has to be fast, right? Once you put in a password in ATM and if it is showing you your balance after two minutes, all bank will no no nobody can save them then, right? So all this program needs to run fast. That too, being the microprocessor there, it has got a limited amount of memory. In such cases, as C runs fast and runs with limited amount of memory, C is the obvious choice for writing operating system and embedded programming for such devices. Computer games. In current information world, everybody is aware of computer game. You go to any house which has got kid, you will find computer games, right? And once, say for example, you are firing a bullet and it takes two minutes to reach to its destination in a game, that game will be a flop game, not a computer game. You are moving a car and it is running at a speed of 1 km per hour. You will say, no, I don't know how to play this game. Again, 
it requires high performance it requires speed of execution and whenever it comes to performance speed of execution nothing but c c is used in writing computer games writing framework for computer games operating system or computer interacting with hardware devices is very common now for example ecg when you go to a doctor for electrocardiogram to make a connection between ecg and computer and getting those reports out c is the obvious choice so if you again look at the screen there are reasons like first of all i am a beginner so i need to have basic programming skills i need to know all the elements of programming i need a language which is simple which is reliable which is easy to use c is the obvious choice so i hope by now you are convinced so let's start learning c into subsequent sections